We asked Jeff Skunk Baxter a fan question. Were there tough sessions in there? I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Are there, has there been sessions? Has there been one or two sessions that were in your past that were tough, like hard for whatever reason uh, through, I don't know, uh, I, I, anything stand out? Um, sometimes, sometimes it's the artist not explaining themselves. I don't know. It could be anything, but there's. Well, there's, yeah, there's sometimes there's challenges. You work with people who are never happy with anything. And so obviously you have to do, you know, your job is to, your job is to make them happy, yeah. you know, not make yourself happy. Um, and there were, there's some tough gigs. Uh, one, one gig that I did with CJ Vanston, who was my partner on this, uh, on this project where the producer, the jingle producer came in and he just handed us the sheet music, which had a time signature, um, uh, tempo key signatures and 64 bars with no music. He said, okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Roll it. And I had just met CJ before. And the reason obviously that we work together now is because on that session, we just made it up as we went. And the, the, the client it was for Hyatt, for Hyatt Hotels. And the client liked it. And we looked at each other and I said, well, if I ever do a solo record, I definitely want to do it with you. Because obviously there's something going on here. And there were some crazy sessions. David Campbell, who was a wonderful, wonderful um, uh, uh, arranger, um, among other things. We were doing a movie soundtrack. Uh, I'm not quite sure who it was from who it was for, but it was, it was, he was in a rush. He said, I'm calling you. I, I got to do this now. I'm up against a deadline. Come in. You got it. I just, okay. Yep. I'll show up. So I showed up and it was 18 pages of music. And so I, we were, I said, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put up like 12, 14 music stands and we'll tape everything together. <clears throat> And we'll lay it across and I'll sit in this stool that has wheels and you're going to wheel me down the line and I'll play the charts, but you got to wheel me down the line so I can read this stuff and, you know, and, and do this and get this done. And so that's fine. Now, whatever it takes, you know, that was a tough one because it was really challenging, you know, re reading it and, playing it and trying to do it in one take. And then, you know, try, <laughs> it's, it's just going down the line here. It's like assembly line. So there were some tough sessions. There were sessions with producers that were uh, very strange. I did a session for uh, Pia Zadora, who was a wonderful lady, uh, not a bad singer, wonderful lady, but her producer was a mean and nasty guy. So um, we, we decided that he was yelling at her too much. And we had to fix that. So, and, and I'm not going to name the producer. He's, he's long passed on, but so we, we, we put a harmonizer. We strapped the harmonizer into the patch of bay on the, on into the monitors and clicked it one cent. So everything he played back in the studio sounded great. As soon as he took it home, it sounded like crap. <laughs> so about three or four days of this, <laughs> we, he said, I, 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 I don't understand. It's, it's, it's impossible. I, and we said, oh, we know what the problem is. We know what the problem is. And we looked at each other. Going, yep, yep, we know what the problem is. We're going to have to get the isometric paralyzer. He says, what is that? I said, well, there's only two of them in the world. There's one in Japan, but I think we can get a hold of one here. Oh, yeah, well, how much is I said, it's going to be about 25, 30 grand. Rent this thing. And he says, I don't care. Rent it. We, I need to fix this. So basically, he shows up the next day, and the, the, the tech in his studio, he's got his headphones on. He's got all the oscillators up. Stuff's working. stuff spinning around. You know, he's, oh, you know, he says, okay, I think I finally got it. Basically, all I did was, you know, pull the patch from the patch bay. But okay, I think we're ready to go now. So we play it back, and everything sounds really good. And he goes, oh, thank God. Thank God everything good. And he writes us a check for 30 grand. So we go to Pia and we say, listen, here, we, we don't want the money. We just hate this guy. And we hate the fact that he was yelling at you and making you cry. Just, and he, she said, keep the money. I hate him. 
I, I didn't know what to do. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. So you never know. You know, you, you never know what's going to happen when you walk in the studio. That is the wildest story I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> More from Jeff Skunk Baxter coming up in the next two, three days. So share our videos, like them, subscribe to our channel, and comment on them as well. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care.